Hello YouTube, Flight Some Guy here. I am in my Fly the Mad Dog MD-80 and this is my third video in my Learn the Mad Dog series. Today we're going to be talking about the APU. Alright, set the parking brake here. I'm at cold and dark. Let's go ahead and get some juice to the plane. Turn it on and then twist. That turns on the battery. Next, we need to get the APU going. To get the APU going in this aircraft, all you need to do is turn on the start pump. And then, move this bad boy to start. Takes about 15 seconds. But this is going to start spooling up. And there it goes. And then, the exhaust gas temperature is going to start rising. And it takes a couple seconds for the APU to go. Now, as you may recall, the APU is also known as the Auxiliary Power Unit. It's a turbine engine that sits in the uh, the tail cone of the aircraft. It's a turbine engine. It's not a jet. Well, technically speaking, it is a jet engine. But the in regular jet engines, the exhaust is used to provide thrust. In the case of the APU, that exhaust is just tossed overboard. One of the drawbacks to the APU is it is awfully loud went to an air show last year and they had the APU on for E-175 that thing was deafening very very loud that's one of the uh, disadvantages to the APU is it you know really loud and disturbing for a lot of people on the ground around the aircraft alright so the APU is on purpose of the APU is to provide power and bleed air for the aircraft on the ground if an engine is running you don't need to have the APU on but in this case, we haven't started the engine yet, so we need to have the APU on to provide juice. APU is running, and over here it says APU power available. So to get juice from the APU, what you got to do is turn on left and right. And now we're getting juice from the aircraft, from the APU. To confirm how much juice we're getting from the APU, we're getting about 120 volts at 400 hertz. And we're looking good. Now, with regards to the APU, not a lot to say, really. Once it's running, okay, these dials will be in this position. The purpose of these switches is to uh, kill any fires if there's an APU fire. All right? This is the bleed air. You got to turn that on to turn on the air conditioning on the ground. This provides high pressure bleed to start the engines and to power the air conditioning systems. So if you're on the ground and you got uh, passengers in the cabin, you want to turn on your bleed air. This controls the APU uh, door. Uh, for the most part, as I said, and forget it. You just go ahead and leave it at uh, norm and it will open and close automatically based on APU operation. APU air is not immediately available after the APU is started. There's a 60 second warm up period before you can get bleed air from the APU. Likewise, powering down the APU, it does not power down immediately. It takes about 60 seconds once you hit off for it to actually spool itself down. This is your exhaust gas temperature. This is provided in Celsius average temperature should be around 500 to 550 if it gets beyond this red line you got a problem and you need to power down the APU once the engines are started as long as these switches are in the on these are the engine generator switches the bus system will automatically switch from the APU to the engine generators and these are no longer needed so once the APU once the engine is started, what you want to do is go ahead and turn off the APU to save gas. You don't need to turn these bus switches off. You can go ahead and leave them on. In fact, you want to. Otherwise, you will land, turn on the APU, and if you don't remember to turn these on, and you power the engines off, everything is going to die. So once the engine is started and you want to turn off the APU, just go ahead and turn it off right here. Leave these switches in the on position. And that's it. Not much else to know about the APU. Just know that you need it to get 
you need to have it on in order to start the engines if you're gonna be on the ground for any serious amount of time go ahead and use the ground power cart as opposed to the APU I don't recall which and which fuel tank the APU draws fuel from but eventually the fuel tanks are gonna be uh, uneven because it's only pulling from one tank I wanna say it's the right aft I don't recall which one and that's it that's all I have for the APU uh, hope you found this video useful my name is flight some guy thank you very much for watching I will see you next time